Okay, so it's possible you could end up paying your ex's legal costs, but if you're careful, that is almost certainly not going to happen. Now, let me tell you how that works. Uh, when you go to court, your ex's solicitor may say to you, we're going to ask for costs to be awarded against you. And that means you'll have to pay for whatever costs they convince the court that should be awarded against you. Costs in family law cases are quite rare, actually, because uh, people do use it as a weapon. And I have known the odd solicitor to try and intimidate people, to warn people off and say, if you withdraw your application, we'll forget this whole thing and you won't be settled with my £5,000 bill. Costs are awarded if they think you're being vexatious. So if you are doing things that keep any, making sure that things end back in court, that's a great way of increasing the chance you get costs against you. So it could be something along the lines of you keep making enforcement applications when there's no real reason to do so. It could be that you keep breaking the court order and uh, you've got no good reason to do so. It could be you're just plain awkward. It could be you're introducing delays. It could be that you are deliberately trying to ramp up costs without any good reason. I've seen it happen a few times. Costs are not common, but it does happen. And if it does happen, then it will say in, say in the order you've got to pay X amount by a certain date. And believe me, if you get to that situation, your ex solicitor will be trying to get as much as they can out of you. No, it's not going to happen all the time. But be careful, it does happen sometimes.